good evening. It's New Year's Eve. Are you ready for the new year? Well, come on, join us for a bedtime story. We're gonna read about Frog and Friends celebrating New Year's Eve. And this is by Eve Bunting. Frog and his friends are playing a game of tag when a little jumping mouse rushed over to them. I have news, she said. Frog could tell she was excited. Her nose twitched, her whiskers quivered. News? Frog asked and he and his friends sat down to listen. They loved mouse news. Little jumping mouse was good at slipping into people's houses. She was good at listening and telling and she sat down next to Frog. Two girls were talking, Jumping Mouse said. I listened. They said New Year's Day is tomorrow and tonight is New Year's Eve. They said that this is the best night of the whole year. Better than Christmas Eve? Raccoon asked. Well, no, but almost as good, Jumping Mouse said. Everybody wears a funny hat. At the sound of the big bell, they toss their hat into the air. That is the start of the new year. I have heard that big bell, Frog said. I didn't know what it meant. On New Year's Eve, they dance, Jumping Mouse went on. They sing, they party, and they listen for the bell. The little possum jumped up and down and turned somersaults. Party, 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 they shouted. Rabbit clapped her paws. We all love parties. The babies join in. Yes, 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 yes. There's more, Jumping Mouse said. New Year's Day is fun too. The older, the old year is over and everyone is happy. Frog frowned. Why? I like the old year. Well, on New Year's Day, you promised to change. You promised to be better. Jumping Mouse told them. What if we don't want to change? Squirrel asked. I don't want to, Raccoon said. I like me the way I am. We like you the way you are too, Rabbit said. And I don't want to change, she added. What if my little rabbits didn't know me anymore? The little rabbits began to cry. Don't change, Mama, don't. I won't, Rabbit said, and pulled them close to her. Frog and his friends looked at each other. Who wants to change, Frog asked. Not a single paw or claw or foot went up. Who wants their friends to change? Not a single paw or claw or foot went up. Little jumping mouse hung her head. I thought it would be good, she said. It is good, Frog said, super good. We like us the way we are. That makes us real, true friends. They ran to hug each other. So, Frog said, let's forget New Year's Day. We don't have to do everything people do. Who would like to have a New Year's Eve nobody change party? Every paw and claw and foot went up. They were busy the rest of the day making party hats. At night, they met again. There was hats of all kinds. Leaf hats, water lily hats, tin can hats, fern hats, bird's nest hats. It was all lovely. They played ring around the rosy. Sometimes their hats fell off. Squirrel lent his tin can hat so they could play kick the can. They sang and danced the hokey pokey while the moonlight danced in the rare tree branches. When the big bell rang for New Year's Day, none of them heard it. They lay curled together the way real true friends do. All of them content, all of them fast asleep. And that was a little story of Frog and his friends celebrating New Year's Eve.
I hope you have a wonderful new year. We'll see you next year. Have a good evening.